and this week we're going to St. Croix for fall break. Um, we are currently in Fort Lauderdale doing a two hour layover, but um, we actually found this as a pretty spontaneous trip. Like it was just like a $200 ticket on Google flights. So we are like, okay, let's go. So hopefully um, the weather will be nice there. The water should be like so clear. Like um, a few weeks ago, we went to Savannah, Georgia and the water was literally gray and it was like raining the whole time so we didn't get our beach weekend but um this week it should be fun so we'll see and yeah let's go Well, the kitchen is like open to the, nice too. the loft. <laughs> Dude, also Sam, your head. They've got like <laughs> very interesting architecture right there. <laughs> but here's one bedroom. So nice. Very very cute. They have, they have another bedroom over here. This one is, has a whole like fairy net over it. It looks hella nice. Mirror. Back door, probably. And then, yeah. Here's the bathroom. So we finally made it to downtown Christensen. Uh, we're just going on a quick walk because I think the sun is setting soon. So we just wanted to like see what food there is and try to get a feel of the town first. But it is very, very quaint and nice. And it's trippy because like the cars drive on the left side of the street. So, but the driver is still sitting on the normal side. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so here's a boardwalk area. There's like chickens yeah, everywhere too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's like a little boardwalk area. You can get some food, eat with the chickens. The water here is actually pretty clear. Um, I don't see any fish though, unfortunately. But. Honestly, like they said the weather here was supposed to be around like 80 degrees, but it definitely feels so nice right now. <gasps> oh, there they are. Did you know here are some big fish. It's massive. Look at that. I don't think fishing is allowed here, so. Dinner. It's 
Spanish rice with chorizo. And then this is actually like the little balcony area for our Airbnb. It's so nice. It's like our own little restaurant. So, at home dinner. The stream lights are so nice. Yeah. That's These are so cute. All right, take a little sea turtle. Oh. Sunday. So this is day two of our St. Croix trip. Um, we're gonna go head over to the Annalay Tide Pools, do a little hike, and um, see if we can try to swim around the tide pools before the tide gets too high. But um, yeah, so we are at Carambola Resort right now. Um, we had to get a taxi to drive us here. It was like a 30 minute winding road, which is what you just saw. Um, but basically they have these really like reliable taxi services so you just call them and they come pick you up in like 30 minutes so yeah good thing we didn't rent a car because we literally can't <laughs> all right so we found the trail it took like a minute it's very buggy we saw some like big hermit crabs it's crawling around earlier but it should be 2.5 kilometers and then We are three fourths to the fourth fifth of the way there, <laughs> according like to Neil. My math is accurate, I promise. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So we reached the Annalay Tide Pools. There were actually quite a few people here, but basically that's it. Um, there's like a little, there's like sea urchins and like small fish around. But low key, the tide is kind of rising, so we should probably get going. But basically, yeah. you have to climb over some rocks, and um, if the tide is up, the rocks are underwater basically. So we would basically have to swim back that yeah. way. The hike here also wasn't great. There was a lot of lava, like shrubbery and like you gotta you gotta duck under like all of these um it was like you know what do you call those like branches i guess yeah <laughs> yeah. So. yeah um but the weather is getting colder so we'll probably head back to the hotel and then there's like a beach next to the calambera resort so we'll probably chill there for a bit call the taxi get some dinner maybe swim at the like beach near christensen and then head back from there but yeah so I think we found a skull. Or we didn't find it. I think somebody else found it and just left it here. That's pretty crazy. It's interesting here because like it's pink. Um, so it's probably like a type of cyano algae or something. Um, but yeah, better get going because the tide is really the tide is really catching up to us. Got yeah, a lot of bug bites everywhere. Uh, that could be kind of concerning. Oh well. 
so many coral skeletons everywhere. This is, there's like some really big ones too. It's kind of sad to think about, like imagine. Like they were just living creatures before. Another. Got a great sunset going. The weather is pretty nice. I'm just there's like really tiny bugs, and I'm just like getting bitten everywhere. Um, they're just like they're like mosquitoes, but not mosquitoes at the same time. Very very annoying. You can't really see them on the camera, but I'm like getting eaten alive right now. Dinner time. We're starving. I don't think we're good. We had like a few pieces of steak and eggs. back to our airbnb the the road was like pitch black and the as you i think you guys saw in the video like the road lights were all red i think they were trying to like reduce the light pollution or something like that but our taxi driver we called the same guy that we took earlier and then he made a pit stop at the gas station and bought us like a ton of snacks he, he like just got it and then like when he dropped the sauce he was like oh these are for you and like, I think his wife was in the front seat and then he was just like, oh, you guys have a great day. Don't give it to Neil and Sam. Y'all, it's like me and Danny can just like hoard all of the snacks basically. But anyway, he's like super nice. He got us like the chocolate, a lot of pistachios, oh Danny's favorite, a lot of nuts, trail mix and just like random stuff. But that was so nice of him. He might call him like on a different day to like, honestly, the taxi service are pretty clutch. Like they were just mm -hmm. like, They'll just take you and pick you up anywhere, so yeah. Probably gonna go shower and then go to sleep soon because we are so tired.
what's up. It's day three. Um, we actually have to head to the airport soon. So we're at this really cute coffee roasters. Um, it's literally like two minutes away from our Airbnb, but there's supposedly a bus that will take us from Christensen to Fredrickson. So we're gonna try to catch the 1031 and then from there maybe explore the town a little bit and then taxi back to the airport around like 2.30. So we can catch her flight at four. So yeah, that's all. We're just getting some like breakfast right now. I got a matcha latte with. We're gonna try with the pate. I think it has like salted fish in it. But um, I also got a lemon tart. And yeah, it's just this really really cute like local bakery type. Eat. Walked into this random resort in Fredericksburg. It looks so nice. We got three meats. <laughs> so here we are in the airport. Sad, it's time to go home. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So we're in the airport terminal right now. It's a small like loungy area and it's really small. Um, TSA took around like five minutes we, and then we were like the only four people in line anyway. Um, but yeah, so our trip has come to an end. It was really, really fun. It really like exceeded my expectations like by 200%. Um, the snorkeling trip went really well. Um, I couldn't, I wish I could have filmed on it, but like. Oh no, I couldn't bring my phone in the water, but a lot of the coral reefs look kind of bleached. Like they were like white or like green. Um, they weren't as colorful as I thought, but there were a lot of like different fish. There were like parrotfish, blue tangs, um, saw a few triggerfish and like jellyfish floating around. So that was really fun. Um, but yeah, today we just walked around Fredrickson for a while. Um, checked out the, the pier and then... Now we're here. We got a taxi back to the airport. Got around one and a half hours before I have to board. Um, but yeah, we have a we have the same layover back in Florida. So we'll have to stay there for a bit and then back to Atlanta around 1 a.m. So yeah, we'll see you guys later.